Hey guys, good morning guys. So, um, we thought it'd be better if we start recording the vlog before we put the rods out this time. Um, just sorting out my stuff. We're in the same swim that we were in before. I've got um, two rigs made up. One, obviously, Ronnie. You know me and the Ronnie's. Focus. Yeah, just a simple Ronnie um, size 7 hook, I think. No, it ain't actually, it's a size 6 or size 8, one of them. Um, and then a half and a half, topped. And obviously, you know what the top half is. The top half is the uh, sticky mulbs, pop ups. But we've also had some tester baits sent to us uh, by Atlantic Baits. Um, sweet nut, that's what I'm currently using at the moment. It smells very nice. It's, um, it's one of them baits that you know is going to work throughout the winter. And uh, obviously, it's the first time putting it on. They give us a top of the sweet nut, an ocean crab. Ocean crab, very nice that. It smells very nice. One of my favourites, garlic spice. Very nice. And uh, essential fruits. So yeah. So what I'm gonna do? We've got beeper over there. Very long. So what you're gonna? What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna um, get these rigs ready. Give them a coating and that cell smart liquid, as always, and then uh, dosh them out. Get them casted out. I've got some new rods now. Some new rods there. I've gone back to my extractors. I had to buy a new set because my uh, last ones I've got rid of. And some new bobbins swinging there. So, um, yeah, I'm just going to get everything set up and then we'll get back to you guys. Oi, oi. Oi, oi, guys. So, rods are out. Um, literally about two minutes ago. Victoria and then treated us to some new line. So I pulled my ninjas out. And my new uh, nine footers, look at them babies. Put out my new extractors, nine footers, and I had to fill up the ninjas with the uh, with the line. Look much better. And then my new bobbins. Hey, yay. <coughs> and we'll just see how it goes. So I'm going to set up the uh, shelter now. It is absolutely freezing. It's meant to be 24 degrees today, but if it is, it keeps us out of the sun. And it's still early as well. And so. it's still early, yeah. So I'm going to set the um, shelter up and see how it goes. So tight lines, guys, and hopefully I'm back with you soon. Oi, oi. Right, so Vic just went to literally change her rod. She's lifted it up, turned around to me. I'm sitting in there. She's gone, oh, I've got a fish on. Yeah? It's not quite the fish that we want. And look. Oh, where's the, where's the rig? Oh, it snapped the rig. It was a pike. A pike had bloody taken a rig. That was the bloody, the red, the garlic stuff. Ah, see, so the, um, Atlantic baits, the garlic one, seem to have uh, attracted a pike. He did tell me that it attracts all types of fish. But, um, that's a bit random, isn't it? Literally lifted up her rod and there's a fish on there. I see it again. <laughs> weird one, eh? Very weird. Let's get back. Let's hope that we get something. We've got to find this rig. So here we go guys, just come over, one of the other members, my brother Charlie, and look at that, he has had an absolute gem of a linear. And funny enough, we were having a conversation about this fish earlier. So how's that, eh? It is a gem, I'll put a picture in it in a second, I saw it all out. Yeah, banger. Well done my brother, well done. Oh, 
Oi, oi, guys. So, I'm just sitting here watching the old uh, Thinking Anglers podcast with, uh, not podcast, with Nick Hellier, the latest Nick Hellier. Uh, he's talking about fishing with Terry Ann and that. And uh, he just got back from sorting that fish out with, with Charlie. Absolutely buzzing. That is the biggest mirror that's in the lake. Funny enough, we get to see it now. Not in our net, but in his net. So well done, Chavi. Well done, mate. Big up to yourself. We we're just literally talking about that as well. But um, we're here for a little bit of a later session than normal. We're here until about seven o'clock, quarter to seven, and uh, we're gonna make a backup. But there's been nothing, nothing on the card. So don't think every time we come here that we're smashing it out, because it's not quite like that. It's one of them lakes where they're on and off and never really know what's going on. But we're gonna uh, chill out for the next couple of hours. Like I said, we've got the Nick Hellier video on. It's now six o'clock, so we've got about an hour and a half to go. And, um, and we'll be getting, making a move, packing up, we're going. So uh, in the next couple of days, obviously we both got work. In the next couple of days, we'll both get back out again and add it on to this one as well. It's a shame that we haven't had anything. And for me, as you all probably know, if you're fishermen, I've got my new rods out. So, is it a curse of my new rods for me? She's got new bobbins on as well. So, <laughs> you know what it's like, guys. You know what it's like. But um, we haven't seen much activity. A few little showers, they've all been out in the distance. It is what it is. We're chilling down, like I said. Speak to you all in a bit, guys. Tight lines. Whee. Oi oi guys And uh, as you might see We're getting bit 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 oh, well. We're getting bit To beep By these mosquitoes These mosquitoes are starting to piss us off But it's like 7 o'clock in the evening We've had no activity all day um, There's been a load of people fishing on the lake The only person to have anything was Charlie So Big ups again my brother Well done for that um, New PB 28 pounds Absolute unit, it was thick as anything, near on a half a foot thick. More than half a foot thick. It was a good 10 inches thick. Cool. Mozzies, but yeah, we're gonna get back in the next couple of days, get over here and see what's going on. Or we might just go down a river, because we've been thinking about it, but uh, we'll see how everything goes. We'll catch up with you guys soon. So, from me and Victoria, it is uh, bye bye because of these bloody mosquitoes. Catch up with you guys soon. <laughs> good morning, good morning guys. So, it is Saturday today. I've had a hell of a busy week. Um, sorting out a load of stuff. As you know, it's getting closer to Christmas, but myself and Victoria in the background there, we've just uh, come over to the lake. We're working until, uh, we're gonna work it till about three o'clock and then we're gonna be off we've got some other stuff to sort out but um, we're into a different swim we're down the end it's, uh, it's probably the deepest part of the lake to be honest with you from what I've heard and from what I've felt seems like it's true so come down here obviously I've got myself there Victoria is here next to me um, just seeing what happens really it's a nice fresh morning this morning we did walk past the swim, up there, about 10 swims up, just off the corner. And uh, as we come around the corner, there was fizzing absolutely everywhere. There was at least seven fish, eight fish feeding. I dropped the barrel straight away and said to Victoria, like, let's have a look at the swim next to this, so we can see what it's like for the pair of us. And a van pulled up, uh, not a van, vehicle, white vehicle pulled up. and. Uh, he asked me if, what I was doing, and I said, obviously, I'm just having a look. He said, well, I'm fishing there. So, here we go. Welcome to these moany old cunts. Apologies for my language if there's kids there, but um, I thought I got away from them, to be honest with you. But I guess they're everywhere in fishing. And if you are one of them moany old cunts, give everyone a break. Come on, we're all trying to do what we want to do, and let's go fishing. So, without me ranting and that, got my rods out. Um, down in this swim now, got my rods out. Uh, 
just off of that bush there in the center of the screen right there there's a little gap I managed to get one right in there got two freebies next to it and uh, one down in here just off of that where that little holy patch is that so just inside there obviously you have to be careful of that little snag that was in the water just casted it round dropped my line down and um, we're going to see how it goes this is one of the corners that like I said is the deepest part of the lake and uh, never fished it before and I've heard nothing but good things about it so we get uh, sorted and we see what happens so until then guys tight lines I'll speak to you soon <laughs> bonjour guys um, I've had no activity it's actually been a bit weird to be honest with you but like I said if we would have jumped in the other end probably would have had a couple more fish but it's been a quiet vlog this one um, got nothing to announce no news or anything it's been very quiet I think we've uh, I think the switching up might might be what's affecting us I think we might, might have to go back to what we know and uh, see how it goes have a rethink about everything but we're literally leaving in about an hour we're going to meet my brother been giving me antibiotics and um, yeah so we're probably uh have a catch up with ya on the next one or we're still here for an hour you never know something might happen so noisy over here um, I'm still gonna be having my social big social towards the end of the year probably mid November or late November big social over one of the lakes have about 10 people come over and um, and 10 of you lot to be honest with you get out a few of you um, we get some fish we have a social barbecue have a little drink and that and uh, make a big vlog of it but thanks everyone for sticking around as you do save for all of this uh, blanking but um, yeah sweet guys tight lines and I'll speak to you all soon so until then adios